Hello and welcome to another bootleg LEGO Legends of Chima review. Today we've got, well, five uh, boxes from CP Toys. Uh, so this is the Wolf King, they even translated and given the Chinese name there. Even a uh, Chinese name there. And also weaponry, also Chinese name. So on the front you got the box art, which uh, is, I'm pretty sure, a box art of LEGO plus their own custom skateboard because I'm pretty sure Legends of Chima has nothing to do with skateboarding. Um, well, skateboard, surfboard, hybriding. Hmm. Uh, each box is slightly different design, even, even in terms of artwork on the corner. On one side you see what you've got inside the box, the cards and the weapons. Uh, on the back, don't be fooled, uh, the back is actually a good way to false advertise what's actually inside the box. Oh look, there's two figures. No, it's just showing this figure and this figure together. This side shows you the uh, actual figure and um, him on display. On the top you've got the Chima logo, uh, all boxes are the same on the top. And all boxes are the same at the bottom, saying uh, Gingo Tan Ban Holong Ham Yao Sai Siu Yi. So it says, uh, item has a chance of containing small parts. Yeah, a big chance. Uh, please don't let six years or younger to play this. And the uh, item on the packaging might differ from what's actually inside, made in China. Zero to six sad onion face, recycle bin, C and stuff. So that's the first box. Uh, second box we got the uh, crocodile. Here's a little second side. Let's look on the back. And the other side. If you want a close look at these boxes, please have a to the Facebook link below. And um, you know, you can take all your time you want to look at all the boxes up. Next, main character pretty much. And finally, this guy. Right, so let's take a look what's inside the package. Now, because inside every pack you got a uh, pack of cards. Uh, character cards, of course. Uh, on the back it's got Chima, and they've removed the Lego logo and put it in the. Uh, CB Toys Lego. Uh, card quality is well. It feels like a thinner version of cereal box cards. So uh, is the quality okay? Uh, it's not bad. It's not great. Uh, it is laminated. In terms of printed uh, resolution, it's fine. Uh, and I even bothered to put in the Chinese character names. Uh, all of the cards in each pack has the character name on it. So here's the card. Next one. <laughs> he looks drunk as hell. Next one. Next one. Uh, this kind of looks like it's a little bit contrast. It's a bit off, like it's a bit washed out. So that's five cards for each character. So let's quickly go through all the cards. Equala. However you have to spell it. Uh, Shell Seeker 360. You can see uh, all the printer quality is pretty decent. Ugh. But I don't like them now. <laughs> if you like Chima, then yeah. But uh, I don't really care for the Chima cards. I don't really like them uh, overall from what I've seen. So. Character cards, I've actually bothered to uh, do a little different textures. Like I think how the official cards are. Again, most of these cards are printed just fine. With only a few exceptions of uh, bad resolution. Now, a few exceptions of bad contrast. Something like that more the scan or something. Again, if you want to take a closer look at all these cards, I will be posting photos of these on the Facebook page. And for our last crocodile guy. Do you want to see that Cartoon Network cartoon about the crocodiles? What was it called? It's like they're all like brothers and families in this one. It's like a bad guy who's trying to like get the crocodiles and they do funny things and stop the guy. 
Right, let's take a look at the actual toys. Now, uh, in this set, all of them come with a skateboard for some reason, but there's a really big skateboard now. In each pack, of course, uh, all the cards are in these resealable card packets, and all of the figures are in packets that's not resealable, except for some reason, uh, this guy had a resealable packet, but all the others didn't. So, why, I don't know. So, like I said, down. Yeah, all of them come with a uh, surf skateboard hybrid. Why is this because skate surfboard hybrid? Because look at the bloody size, it's hilarious. That's clearly like a skate uh, surfboard size, but no, no, it's even bigger than surfboard, so I uh, don't know what's going on. But uh, they're all themed like the character, they're all colored, you know, color themed. Uh, every uh, single piece of these are completely unassembled down to the hands. Uh, in fact, the wheels. Uh, three part this black bar and two wheel bits that you snap in. Uh, and there's some paint here. Um, it is okay, but they feel like they're gonna, you know, kid, if a kid's playing this, they will break the wheels in due time. I mean, it's okay. I mean, here's the thing you're not gonna buy Chima minifigures for bloody surf skateboards, so it doesn't matter if these break because that's not what you want. Uh, and of course, all of them come with the two blocks and a plate. Uh, these quality are okay, all of them, they do snap fine, I guess, so that's something. Uh, he comes with a generic katana, a uh, staff with a lightsaber handle, a round bit and a blade bit. Uh, Quality-wise, it's uh, actually a size is not too good, as you can notice. It's a little white line there because this is actually too thick to go in there, so pushing it in is actually already slightly uh, pushing and forcing the plastic. It's not good. But most importantly, what are the minifigures like? Well, here's the first guy. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit more. So here's the guy. Uh, he looks like he's printed pretty well, if you can see. Uh, the face is a little bit off because he's missing his pupils, or they're not printed aligned correctly. Uh, but overall, he's built okay. Nothing seems like it's going to break anything. But, uh... don't know what the hell happened there. It's not like sticky stuff. Oh, the figure's fine. There's some bit of uh, glue left over from the uh, packaging. Ew. Sticky. Uh, in terms of the mask, the printing's sort of a bit off. A bit scratched here and there. Uh, nothing on the back. Does a build quality, he's stable. Uh, one thing to notice, I don't know if you can see it in the camera, but... Can you see it? There's a shine on top of the printing. It's almost as if they printed the figure and then overlayered it with a... Well, it's like they, splay, they sprayed it or they had an extra layer put on, a shiny layer put on top of the printing so it doesn't come off. Um, So, yeah, and uh, the face is, uh, well, let's just say it's not really printed the right size, shall we? Uh, not, not too good on the face department. Turn his head. It's stuck. I'm getting turned now. It's really stiff head. Uh, so, yeah, these figures do not look good at all underneath the mask, but if you put the mask on them, they look okay. Uh, I mean, they're good for replacement pieces, maybe, but, uh, eh. the back, he's, uh, average. Uh, let's look at the, uh, other wolf, the dark one. So, he comes with his own, again, skateboardy design thing going on. Uh, grey two blocks of a piece. His weapon is a flagpole. And a, uh, this one's meant to be a lightsaber handle with a red brick part. And this bit in there, but uh, this is so loose that um, it's not staying in. So uh, get like blue tag something. So in terms of uh, molding size, uh, these pieces are not too good. So here's the figure. Come on, the light again. He's got that shiny thing on them. It's almost it's almost like they printed it and then they they stuck cellar tape over the top. But I can't, for the love of God, actually scratch that layer off. So it's a uh, I mean, I can feel it, but I can't actually remove it, so good layer, I guess? I have no idea what technique they're using. But anyway, looking at the figure, you can see he's, um, 
the printing is slightly misaligned on the torso. Apart from that, there's not really anything too bad, but the red missing there. Um, his face is way better proportioned than the other guy. Because I'll stick the deep mask on, and um, yeah, he's looking for it evil, like he should be. Because, you know, apparently all dark things are evil, evil according to Lego. Bad, 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 bad. Uh, not really any paint issues. Uh, there are shades of white to uh, grey on the helmet. That's not too sharp or clear, but they're there. You can see them with your eyes, so that's fine. Uh, next we have the crocodile. He has a very bony uh, skateboard. Comes with a uh, dark green brick. A morning star generic weapon. And a laser sword thing. Which uh, his hands, the grip on it is actually tighter than his arm and joint. Get back in there. So he comes with a cape, which is pretty cool. Uh, seriously, he looks like a retarded Goomba, just like uh, the lizard from the Amazing Spider-Man. But I'm going to get his head off so you can see his chest. Get the cape off. Talk about the cape in a sec. So there's his uh, body and chest again. It's uh, slightly misaligned to the left or to the right from his perspective. But if in terms of printing quality, it's, it's actually okay for what it is. It's just it's slightly misaligned. Lots of uh, injection molding bits there, uh, like the little bits you get from snapping pieces off the model grid. Uh, the cape, uh, it, one side it feels like a Lego cape and the other side has a sort of like felt cloth feeling to it. I don't know if you can see it under the line, but I actually like this kind of cape. It feels good and also gives you uh, more flexibility, like you can put it on inside out and it looks like a different cape. And after all, capes usually have a felt thing going on with them anyway, but uh, my god this face is retarded. Thank god for the mask. Oof. Yeah, with the mask, uh, the gold is actually pretty decent looking. I mean, the whole piece is molded in gold-ish colour and just printed uh, on top. Uh, I think the colours are slightly misaligned, but there's not a big issue, just a little bit off. 